So uh, we're here at the audit. Uh, we did an interview earlier uh, at uh, about th a little after 3 a.m. and uh, we were just out front, and they had uh, they had uh, ABC Channel 5 out there, and uh, I just saw a Fox uh, Fox News truck just pull in. So I figured, heck, if they're going to pull in, let's pull in. So we just pulled into the lot here at uh, the uh, Arizona election audit. So we'll see. Um, We'll see how long this lasts, but uh, we're here. Here's the uh, here's the uh, Veterans Memorial Coliseum, uh, aka Arena, and uh, looks like they got a little traffic control up here. Uh, looks like they have uh, some security. Uh, they supposed they're supposed to be having 24-hour security here, which is probably inside uh, the building. And uh, we'll see if this guy comes up and wants to say hi or not. Uh, it doesn't look like it. And uh, in any case, uh, he just drove away. They've got uh, some kind of security over here. It looks like some kind of armed guard. Um, and it looks like that if you're gonna get into the actual facility, you gotta go down, maybe down that ramp right over there. But uh, we're not gonna try that right now. And it looks like that sheriff, well, it looks like a sheriff. Uh, looks like he's guiding in some of the folks who are assisting with the audit. And, um, uh, so maybe we'll go chat with him at some point in time, but we'll just kind of hang loose right now and kind of see how this goes. And uh, we are in the parking area uh, at the uh, Arizona audit here for Mar Maricopa County with the 2.1 million ballots. Um, and, uh, you know, we're here. Uh, we are uh, public observers. We are interested parties to the extent that we want to make sure that uh, truth be done and that they do this and do it right uh, and we're just kind of on the lookout to make sure no ballots sneak out of the building mm -hmm. make sure that they're not pulling machines out of the building and uh, make sure that Antifa and BLM's not coming in and trying to interfere uh, with the audit uh, we also found out something earlier from uh, one of the, the gentlemen who was watching the door up above and he confirmed that Arizona is an open carry state. So that means people can openly carry handguns uh, holstered uh, on your waist. So um, real interesting. And uh, hopefully there's not uh, some type of armed crowd uh, that comes and has some type of conflict uh, with others uh, who are here at the site conducting official business. But once again, uh, we're here at the Arizona Maricopa County audit the machinery, the tabulators, and some of the other items that were used in the voting process trucked over yesterday under secured, uh, secured uh, status. And they were supposed to be having the actual ballots brought over today. So what we'll try to do maybe is stay here until they have the ballots delivered and maybe we'll see the ballots getting trucked in here at some point in time. So what we'll do is we'll try to maintain our current position and we'll see what happens. Can you get those guys real quick? It looks like they have another security guard that just came in, in dressed in black. I don't think that's Antifa, I think that's security. And they have another guy in a golf cart that's just coming up and they are with the sheriff. So we will just kind of regulate and hang right here and see what happens. Uh, once again, if we could see the ballots actually get trucked in, we saw a news report yesterday that indicated that the machinery and the tabulators and other uh, items that were used with the voting uh, were, I believe, shrink wrapped on pallets, brought in in three trucks, and that the, once again, the ballots were supposed to come in today. So what we'll do is we'll maybe wait until those 2.1 uh, ballots come rolling into the Veterans Memorial Coliseum and we'll just hold our position until that time uh, subject to uh, being asked to either participate which we'd be happy to be uh, public observers uh, looks like there's some more media that's rolling in right here possibly or it says front line I uh, don't know if that's uh, that the channel 4 yeah so I'm not sure exactly who that is but uh, uh, we'll just kind of hold our position once again and we'll watch and uh, monitor and we are basically public observers overseeing the situation here and making sure that there you know is transparency to the process and we'll kind of see how 
uh, heavy duty this uh, security is uh, because they are supposed to have 24 hour security. Should we follow them? Uh, no, let's just let's just hold our position. Uh, it looks like the people that are going down there are folks who are involved with the process and that's uh, usually a lot of times those gated areas much like the pond in Anaheim those uh, those areas that, that dip down give you access uh, where you can pull in pull up and that's probably where they trucked in the uh, voting machines and the tabulators yesterday and once again those those drop down areas that you can go down into are typically to access the interior of the building so if they're going to be bringing the ballots in sometime today, my thought is that the ballots will be coming in right over here and uh, and would be delivered uh, by secured truck uh, and, and probably armed and guarded trucks at some point in time to make sure that they get from point A to point B, point being right here in front of us. And it looks like these are people rolling in who are going to be involved in the audit process with regard to probably the uh, volunteers and maybe observers. Uh, and keep in mind too, that they're gonna be doing a hand count of 2.1 million ballots. And it looks like there is some type of security protocol. It looks like the sheriff is checking something. Uh, she's, he's looking at the gal's phone. So they probably have uh, either invites or uh, some type of ticketing or authorization or validation that they have to show to be able to get in. Uh, at least it looks like that's what that gal did, or maybe she was showing uh, the sheriff what, what was on her phone, uh, trying to figure out where she's supposed to go. Uh, so once again, we will be maintaining our position, just monitoring and kind of keeping an eye on what is happening here with regard to this process. And right now it is 7.14. Uh, 7.14 a.m. Uh, Arizona time and it looks like these folks may be media so it might have been uh, media credentials that that yes. gal was showing yes. uh, probably media credentials authorizing uh, entrance into the facility and uh, maybe uh, you don't think we should try to piggyback with them do you you're smiling <laughs> I'm always thinking I'm always thinking seeing uh, somehow where we could uh, access or uh, get a little closer or participate, but uh, we'll just keep an eye and see what happens. Um, maybe I could see if that guy needs some help carrying some of the equipment or something. Uh, but it looks like he probably has it. Uh, but uh, I'm a nice guy, maybe I'll go check. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll hold our position because then they would probably ask who am I and, and uh, upon what authority I'm coming in other than just being this guy's helper. But it looks like he's the helper for the gal. Uh, she's probably the reporter. He may be the uh, camera guy. And uh, they may be part of the, uh, one of the units that is, is going in to actually uh, film and record uh, the ballot process and counting process and also the evaluation of the machinery that's going to be utilized in the in the audit so they have four four different companies uh, who are involved in the evaluation and audit and I'm not sure exactly what components each is doing but it looks like they all have a, a different specialty in terms of uh, what they will be uh, looking at and reviewing uh, with regard to the machinery, the actual ballots, and the verification process uh, in that regard. So uh, we'll hold our position here and just kind of keep an eye. It uh, looks like they only have one sheriff, a single sheriff, who's now walking down the walkway down below, if you can see him over here. And uh, that's yeah. the only, only person I see right now that has any authority to stop people coming in and keeping in mind that we just drove in uh, following a news van, uh, Fox News van. And we'll just hang quiet and let uh, Lamb kind of film what's going on here. But it looks like there's various people pulling in that may be involved with the media, may be involved with the process. And it looks like mostly private individuals 
who are probably participating in the audit and I don't know what pool of uh, personnel they're pulling from but I assume and it looks like uh, most of these folks have Arizona plates and are probably just locals who are somehow involved uh, in the process and how they became involved I'm not sure I'm about ready to walk up and say hey if they do you need any more volunteers uh, but uh, we'll hang loose for now and just kind of uh, keep an eye. It's like another person who's involved in, in checking people going in is the gentleman in the dark jacket that has the, the blue face mask on. It looks like he and the sheriff are the sole people here who are regulating incoming uh, foot traffic. And let me look back and see if there's a guard back at the place where we just drove in at. I'm not sure that there is, but there was earlier. You can try to get that lamb, but uh, at one point there were some people back where you drove in, and, and then once the uh, Fox News crew just simply drove in, we simply drove in. And we're here in the lot as other people are arriving. And it's currently 7.19 a.m. here on Thursday, April 22nd, 2021, at the site of the Maricopa County election audit. Okay, Lamb just gave me the uh, camera. I got a little better view out of my window. So uh, we're just here at the Veterans Memorial Coliseum here in Phoenix, Maricopa County at the site of the audit. And there's various people who are rolling in who we believe are participating in the audit. And they have uh, one armed sheriff up here and one other worker in the dark jacket and the, the mask who I believe are regulating traffic and working with the folks who are involved in the audit who are the people who I believe are coming up and parking right now. Okay, and that will kind of give you an idea of what's going on here. But uh, the actual site is here in this Coliseum, which is the former home of the Phoenix Suns. And we're at the fairgrounds here in Phoenix. And as indicated, most of the people are going over and entering through a walkway that appears to go down into the building. And we're holding out to see if the 2.1 million ballots uh, are gonna get transported over here at some point in time and uh, safely arrive. So we'll just hold out for, uh, for that to happen. And this gentleman has a fancy camera set up that uh, we're not sure if he's media or if he is going to be involved in setting up cameras to monitor the premises during the audit but we'll monitor it ourselves and and keep an eye and i'll pass this back to lamb to just kind of yeah there you go you got a good view now there through there's the other gentleman who's uh, directing traffic and uh, the uh, participants in the So we're just public observers. We're just being public observers here at the uh, at the location of the Maricopa County audit, and we'll continue to monitor it. We come in peace. We're not violating anyone's rights. We're just simply overseeing the process. And they wanted uh, and have stated that they were going to have transparency. So we're just trying to make sure that that's the case.
more people coming. Yeah, more folks rolling in. Most of them seem to be parking up where we are, and uh, others are pulling or trying to pull down below. Hopefully, uh, these cars don't park right in front of us so we can maintain our view. A gentleman in the red shirt just had walked in and now he's walking out so we're not sure if he's uh, gonna be participating or he's looking at his phone I know that some people have been showing the sheriff uh, their phones and which which must be the passage to get in so I don't know if that gentleman either didn't have the correct passage or it looks like maybe they're directing people down here to the left and it looks like they may be directing people down here and they're just simply going down to another uh, parking area and possibly a different entrance to go in and perform whatever function they're going to perform as part of the audit. So uh, it looks like these are just simply people who are, if not volunteers, participants and will be involved in the audit process. But once again, it appears that the people coming in here are more so uh, involved with bringing in materials or equipment through the down through the ramp that goes down into the building and it's my thought that that will be the location that the ballots come in later so we'll try to hold on in this location should we, should we follow them no I don't think so we're looking for the ballots we're not looking for people coming in so let's we're waiting for the 2.1 million ballots that uh, we believe are going to be delivered here today so uh, we may relocate here at some point in time, but for now we're going to go ahead and and stay here. More people are walking. Actually, that may not be bad. It will give us a little shade, and then we can still see through here. I can still see through here. Yeah, you can too. Yeah. So it looks like the sheriff is walking down a group of uh, volunteers or workers. Should I go down and walk around with them? No. It's <laughs> That car I used to go down there, now it come up there. Yeah. So yeah, there's there's a couple cars that are driving down also here. Let's see if they get a stay. Because if they go down and stay, I may try to drive down there too. Although that's kind of, would be pressing it a little bit. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.